mass monster is the term that we would generally associate with modern bodybuilders that are literally walking chemical experiments rather than examples of health and fitness. However, during the Bronze Era, a time long before the advent of steroids, mass monsters such as Charles Rigolot, the French Olympic weightlifter who weighed 230 pounds, cracked the sidewalks of Europe, or Louis Uni, whose stage name was Apollon, would grace the vaudeville stage at 240 pounds and possessed brute strength. And finally, George Hackenschmidt, the famous Russian wrestler and strongman that weighed at 220 pounds, all with fairly muscular physiques too, proved that even 100 years ago, mass monsters did exist. Of all the Bronze Era mass monsters though, the one that impressed me the most is Hermann Goerner, who I have previously featured on this channel, with his massive muscular physique weighing in between 245 pounds and some say that he weighed up to 290 pounds in his later years. Goerner is said to have entered the weightlifting scene too late in his life, and never truly developed the limit of his power which is incredible because he nevertheless was able to perform some of the most incredible feats of grip strength which we will look at today. I have already talked about his overall body strength, like his ability to support a car with 6 people in it, which was well over 4,000 pounds, leg pressing 24 men, which weighed 4,123 pounds, and wrestling a 1,500 pound elephant. Goerner is said to have had 9-inch wrists and 16-inch forearms, as measured by historian David Willoughby, one of the foremost experts on the history of strongmen, so that should tell you that Herman already had quite significant genetic advantage when it came to grip power. And to start off with Goerner's grip feats, one very impressive feat performed in Leipzig, Germany on October the 20th, 1931, was his pinch grip snatch with both hands a barbell weighing 165 pounds. That's right, a pinch grip snatch, just holding the end of the discs of the weight. It's important to note that as I go through these feats of grip strength, Goerner didn't actually specialize in any particular stunt. That's really important to understand. And just practice his regular training, yet could perform these amazing feats of gripping strength. On May the 8th, 1934 in Leipzig, he swung a 132 pound kettlebell only using the forefinger of his right hand and a kettlebell swing of 110 and a quarter pounds using his pinky from his right hand. It is unfortunate to also note that it was difficult to ascertain the true strength of Goerner as at times not enough weight was available. For example, on March the 26th, 1931, he swung two kettlebells weighing a total of 254 and three quarter pounds at the first attempt and could not attempt further from lack of heavier weights. Previously, Arthur Saxon had performed the double-handed kettlebell swing with 220 and a half pounds, which was considered an extraordinary lift. On August the 5th, 1934, Goerner accomplished a right hand swing with three kettlebells for a total poundage of 166 and a half pounds, whilst Arthur Saxon had previously swung 165 and a quarter pounds in the same fashion. Arthur, although being smaller than Goerner, had much larger hands, yet Goerner was able to perform some rather amazing gripping feats, such as a four finger barbell deadlift of 595 and three quarter pounds on November the 30th, 1933, and he performed this using only two fingers of each hand. He could also perform a deadlift with 330 and three quarter pounds with his fingers not completely wrapped around the bar, that is, by flexing his fingers at the first joint, whereas with a hook grip, he could deadlift 727 and a half pounds. For the sake of knowing his measurements, Gurner's hands were eight and a quarter inches in length and 4.4 inches in breadth. Along with his nine inch wrists and 16 inch forearms, Goerner had some formidable apparatus for gripping. It was said that when he was birthed, Goerner the Mighty was cast in a gigantic mold. I'd say such a statement was true. Here are some of the impromptu lifts he could perform. 
a one hand pinch grip of 111 pounds from a dead hang position. Just in case you don't think that's powerful enough, see if you could do half of this. One time, Hermann Goerner picked up with his right hand a stack of bricks weighing 88 and a quarter pounds. In fact, he was rather fond of lifting bricks, and he also had incredible crushing power. Just imagine the crushing power it would take to perform this kind of lift. Goerner could lift by squeezing his hands together 123 and a half pounds of bricks laid out in a row. Equally impressive was his crushing grip feat of lifting a 100 kilogram solid steel ball from the floor to the shelf. Another incredible feat with bricks was how he could lift a pile of bricks weighing 282 and a quarter pounds and not just once but apparently through an 8 hour working day. One final lift worth of note is his unorthodox lift of snatching a 132 and a quarter pound barbell with both hands at one end of the barbell. The stability and core strength required from snatching a barbell in this fashion is just mind blowing. So I do hope you have enjoyed this video and look at the gripping strength feats of the bronze era mass monster Hermann Goerner and I am pretty sure you would agree that at the height of his career and power the fantastic feats of Goerner the mighty as he was called will pretty much defy description and belief. He was truly a colossus of strength and muscularity. If you have enjoyed this video, then please give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't done so yet, and please leave me your comment. That's it from me. This is the Golden Era Bookworm saying bye for now. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Vince Deronda's approach to bodybuilding, his principles, and all these tips of wisdom that he has, but to be honest, these three books, I believe, which I call the Classic Physique Bundle, are the best books that Vince ever came out with. And they, of course, are the Wild Physique, the Master Series, and the Pro Series. Have a look at it this way. The Wild Physique, I believe, is like the ABCs of Vince Gironda's principles to bodybuilding. He teaches you the exercises and his principles. But how do you put them together? Well, the Master Series is a 14-month program of using all of these principles, all of the diets that Vince came out with, all of the exercises. And, of course, the Pro Series was a book that he came out with later on, specially targeted for uh, getting into competition. It's just these, these three books, as I call it, the classic physique bundle, uh, Vince's best work, and available, of course, at www.goldenerabookum.com. Head to www.goldenerabookum.com for the biggest range of classic old school bodybuilding books as ebooks, e magazines, such as Iron Man and Reg Park Journal, high quality bodybuilding posters of the Golden Era stars merchandise and classic gym wear featuring Steve Reeves, Marvin Eda, John Grimmick, Reg Park, and many other Golden Era stars. For those wishing to build a classic physique, lose fat and build muscle, online training is also available. Collectibles such as rare autographed photos from the Golden Era stars are also available, and to collaborate, please get in touch. As a natural bodybuilder, it is imperative to know your own testosterone levels as they are a reflection of the anabolic environment created by your diet and training. I would highly recommend using the male hormone test kit from Let's Get Checked and make sure you use my code GOLDEN30 for a 30% discount. Again, the advantage of checking yourself regularly is that you will know how well your body is anabolically primed to put on the much desired muscle you are working for. Not all of us have the time to go to a gym or the opportunity to have a coach to teach us one-on-one, -on -one, but with the Future Fitness app, it's like having a personal trainer in your living room. From February 11th onwards, you can try the Future Fitness app for only $19 for the first month. Think of what you can accomplish during that first month. So go on and hit my link at tryfuture.co slash geb to get started.